Hey, it's Rick from LearnDigitalAdvertising.com, and here's what you need to know about scheduling reports in Google Data Studio. So on March 7th, Data Studio launched report scheduling. We'll go through quickly how this works, some of the ins and outs of it, and some limitations that we see. So first to schedule, it's pretty basic. You have a clock on top of Data Studio here. So from any report, you're going to hit that clock. You're going to choose your recipients. You're going to choose the start time. Um, bear in mind that the start time is going to affect your repeat option. So if we, for instance, wanted this report to go out on the first of each month, we'd want to change our start date to the first so that when we switch the repeat to monthly, we can set it that way. Um, you can select as many recipients, it seems like, as you need to, uh, and you hit schedule, and that's it. So it's a pretty Basic feature, but very useful to a lot of us who are monitoring dashboards or need to send them to clients on a regular basis. Now, when you do schedule the report, what's essentially going to happen is an email will be generated from Google with a PDF attachment of your existing report. And that's going to take into account the date range and existing like save filters on the report. So if you have a running date range on your report or something like that, it's going to grab that current setting and send that version of the report. So keep that in mind. Um, another thing to keep in mind is that there's only one schedule for each report, so you can't have a report going to person X once a day and person Y once a week, so a little bit limiting uh, in that sense. Um, and uh, that's, that's about it. Uh, it's a pretty cool feature, something we've been waiting for for a long time. Uh, hope you enjoyed and make use of it. Thanks.